Hey guys, it's Jeff Johnson and I have another tutorial for you. This is part of our ongoing series about how to use email to drive traffic to your website or to your affiliate offers. It really doesn't matter. The important thing to remember is that an email subject line helps get people to open up your email. And if they don't open up your email, they can't read what you're trying to sell them. So it's very important that you use the best email subject lines out there. So I'm literally going to show you, literally going to walk you through and show you my best performing subject subject lines that consistently send me tons of free traffic and make me boatloads of cash. I use them over and over again in different variations, different styles. I'm going to show you the exact ones that I use so you can steal my best email subject lines to write them for your own markets or for your own mailing list. Now, this particular presentation is all about email subject lines. We're not going to talk about getting people to click the emails themselves, which results in higher click-through rates. We're not going to talk about writing email copy that sells. We're not going to talk about email swipe files or split testing subject lines and calls to action. All those things have been covered or will be covered soon in our list getting and traffic module inside Traffic Voodoo. This particular presentation is all about my subject lines, subject lines that get opened. So that's what this particular presentation is all about. So let's get started. There are four basic rules that you need to follow. Email subject line rule number one. Do whatever it takes to get them to open the email because if they don't open your email, you can't make the sale. You can't get them to take action. You can't get them to visit your website or buy your products if you don't get them to open up the email. So I'm not talking about being deceptive. I don't talk about lying. Those things are things that you should not do. But you can use curiosity and there's certain rules and formats that I have proven over and over again work to get people to open the emails and that's what I'm going to share with you today. But the point is do whatever it takes to ethically get them to open up your email because if they don't, you can't make the sale. Email subject line rule number two. Always track your open rates because if you don't track your results, you won't know which subject lines work best. It's very simple. You don't want to guess about this stuff, folks. You want to analyze the results. So use a testing system, a tracking system inside your emails, even for your email subject lines. We'll talk about that in a minute. I'll show you the resource that I use. But other than that, folks, always track your open rates. You know exactly which ones work and which ones don't. Cut your losers, run with your winners. Subject line rule number three. Keep testing new subject lines because if you use the same old ones, your same subject lines, too often they'll lose their effectiveness. So always look for new ideas. My assistants send me lists of email subject lines that they have received in their own e-boxes, inboxes that cause them to open up the email. And we subscribe to email lists in multiple different markets all across the board. When they see something that actually gets them, makes them feel compelled to open up the email, they send a copy of the lines over to me and we test them out if they apply to our markets. And, and realistically speaking, you can modify all of these subject lines to your own markets. And I do the same thing. When I see an email that really compels me, makes me want to open up that email and read what's inside, I make a note of it so I can test it in my own markets to my own list. Now, rule number four is going to seem kind of contrary to what I just told you in number three. But once you find a winner, use it over and over again. I don't mean use the exact same subject line. I mean use the same format with the same primary triggers, the same keyword phrases, the same phrasing itself in the email subject line. When you find a winner, you want to use it over and over again. Not the exact same subject line. A slight modification of it so it still seems fresh and new to your readers but you know there's certain things we're going to show you in a few minutes here there are certain things that get people over and over again and you want to take those triggers you want to build them into your subject lines and reuse those same ideas over and over again just don't use the exact same subject line over and over again or else it'll lose its effectiveness now Email subject line rule number one. Before I forget, folks, if you remember, I put out a video recently where I talked about, I think it's in the testing conversion module, Traffic Voodoo, where I talked about my banner ads and what works well for us. Don't forget, in that video, I told you that a lot of the subject lines that we have that work well for us, we have tested them over as banner ads, and they work really well as banner ads. We've also taken banner ads that work really well for us and for other people and test them as email subject lines, and they turn out more often than that to work really, really well as email subject lines. So inside our testing conversion module, Traffic Voodoo, make sure that you review our banner rules that work. And our, literally, I show you which banner ads work for me and which ones don't. But the same basic rules apply to our email subject lines. Here's what works for me and basically works for most people. It's, it's human nature. 
Curiosity works. People are always curious. That's where we get the phrase, curiosity killed the cat. Human beings are curious. So try to arouse curiosity when you're writing your email subject lines. Bold statements. Makes a big, fat, bold statement in the subject line, and that will help get you openings, open ups. I'm sorry, get you, get your subject lines opened. Bold statements, controversy. Controversy also is something that will get you get your people to open up your email shock factor if you send out something that has a shocking statement in the in the subject line itself that works very very well for us too putting facts and by facts I mean statements of fact this is fantastic content or 29 million people downloaded the software those are very specific facts when you include those and I'll show you how it works but when you include those in your subject lines that works really well too and humor always works really really well as a subject line but also as a body of an email itself so here's what does not work anything that testing shows you doesn't work with your list you'll get a feel for it everyone's list is different I don't want to waste time showing you what doesn't work I want to spend more time showing you what does work so you can take those principles and apply it to your business and test it for yourself on your own list you'll get to know soon enough what doesn't work and what does work so I'm going to spend the time here in this presentation showing you what actually works in my business for my list and that I know has been modified and used in multiple other markets other than just my own list now here are my best subject lines. Guru Blueprint sucks. No, I don't believe Guru Blueprint sucks. I made $266,000 on the launch. I made a $100,000 bonus check. One bonus check alone from the Guru Blueprint launch was $100,000. Of course, I don't think it sucks. But why does it work? Well, shock factor. People say, wow, Jeff has been sending me emails all week long about how great Blue Guru Blueprint. I can't even say it. But, but why it works is that people see it as a shock factor. They say, whoa, Jeff's been telling us all week how he loves Guru Blueprint, and now he's telling us it sucks. Or they've seen Frank Kern tell him how great Guru Blueprint is, but wow, Jeff says it sucks. I better open up this email and find out what the hell Jeff's talking about. It's a shock factor. It's also controversy. It's also curiosity. They want to find out, hey, why does Jeff think Guru Blueprint sucks? Why is he telling me now all of a sudden it sucks when last week he told me to buy it and I spent $2,000 on it? Folks, the name of the game is to get them to open the email. And then once they open up the email, they say they see that I truly like Guru Blueprint. I just tell them why I think it sucks at that particular point. I don't remember why specifically. I'll pull it out for the next training tutorial. But I think it was I used the, the angle of Guru Blueprint sucks because it's teaching too many people to become my competitors. Or I said Guru Blueprint sucks because they're closing down tonight. And you won't be able to buy it after tonight. So you need to get in tonight because they're closing it down. I hate them for that because it's a great course. I don't know why. I will show you in the next video. The point is this particular subject line had great open rates for me and in general here's another one that I said Guru uh, Google sucks you don't need them once again it works for the very same reasons Google sucks you don't need them and I open up in the email and tell them why in the email but in general my something something sucks emails get opened religiously very high open rates for me it doesn't matter what it is Google sucks Facebook sucks Twitter sucks, internet marketing sucks, Frank Kern sucks, it doesn't matter. I've used all of them and they consistently get high open rates. So steal this for a template. Something, something sucks with an exclamation point gets high open rates for me in the subject line. Also, here's another one. Here's exactly how to use YouTube and Facebook to get traffic and build your list. High open rate, why does it work? Curiosity and bold statements of fact. Here's exactly how. I'm going to tell them exactly what they need to do step by step to use YouTube and Facebook. And I'm using specifics. I'm using YouTube because that catches a lot of people's attention. And I'm using Facebook because that catches a lot of people's attention in the subject lines. If you can work YouTube and Facebook in your subject lines, right there half the battle is done. But I'm telling them. Here's exactly how to use YouTube and Facebook to get traffic and build your list. Well, they want to know exactly why. They're curious. What is it that Jeff does exactly to get more traffic from YouTube and from Facebook? You can modify this all day long. Here's exactly to XXX, whatever it is. I use this style of subject line in multiple different markets. I just say, here's exactly how to, and this is also something that I learned in my testing from headlines on my sales pages and my opt-in pages. When you tell somebody, here's exactly how to, people love how-to information. And when you tell them, here's exactly how to 
how to. It's letting them know right up front that it's a step-by-step -step system. You're going to show them something that works from point A to point Z, and that's why it works really, really well. So there's the template. Here's exactly how to dot, dot, dot. Fill in the blanks. What is it that's in your marketplace that people want to know how to do?